the Mola Talent update. I, I don't think I have Mola, unfortunately. But yeah, it is also the Mola Talent update. We'll get into that a little bit later. I guess we'll roll. I have 51 tickets. Uh, oh, oh shit, O2, let's fucking go. Courier but Uber version. You're not wrong there. Why are you rolling on a better banner when you're gonna ban them anyways? Because I, it's funny. And also, it would be good for a labyrinth. Da, da, da. Oh, Nerf Moon. Okay, this is something that I can actually use. Hell yeah, let's go. Do I 10 roll on this Uber banner? Oh, 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 oh I'm a one. Let's fucking go. Okay, I, I'll, I'll just stop here. Emma 1 is in the middle of bannable and usable. At this point, let's be real, does it even matter what I ban when I'm not gonna use Ubers anyways? <laughs> Alright, welcome to update 12.5. Once again, thank you very much, Wiki. Wiki editors for making the pages clean. This is very nice and clear to see. Update 12.5! Let's start with the quick overview. New Kana, there's a new Iron Legion, there are two new Ancient Eggs that you get from Mission, there's one new Rare unit uh, that you get from a Brutal Advent. Chibigao, which is a Princess Punt collab unit, has a true form. This, I don't think, is on EN, I'm pretty sure. Cyclops, Kyclops now have a true form. This is the true form for the two new uh, Eggs. This is one for Super Rare, one for Rare. Mola Uber, gets a talent and i'm sure most of you have seen insane ass shit from this guy two new ultra talents one for copper mine one for shingen two new enemies one is a behemoth flying zombie henry and the other is this mad lad anyways uh so that's that's cap that's uh that's a new advent and also of course new zero legends and new uh behemoth stuff new three crowns or still four crowns and also this is the one that i think is not in jp or rather it have been in jp for a while and we only got it now which are the quizzes uh this is the new brutal uh brutal advent male medals miscellaneous there's two new user rank new cat combo i believe this is a solo combo for kyclops and of course the big one is gold CPU. There's also a new Gamma Toto area. I think it's called Raising the Bar. And there's also uh, Godlets now have a checkpoint. Wait a second. Once beating the final stage, checkpoint starts at stage 10. I don't think this is correct. I'm pretty sure you get level 10 checkpoint after you beat level 10, right? This is only for the big barons, not like the monthly barons, not like the Eva barons or anything like that. Okay, so yeah, this is Baron Seal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the checkpoint notification there, and you get it after level 10. It's just nice to be able to get into, like, the better meat of the content than, like, 1 to 10, which is kind of just, like, really big padding for the most part. That's used for almost because 1 to 10 is so bad. Yeah, that's also what I was thinking. It's like, I, I do hear that, like, almost 1 to 10 is sucks ass, so... Yeah, aside from that, there's also one more, which is change base HP display so that it cannot be hidden by units. The placement for the health of the base is slightly higher, both in yours and your uh, and the enemies. So if I spawn talking here the text is in fact in front of togelan so you can actually see your base held it's pretty good i need to show this real quick so there's one more final area here raising the bar apparently have a higher chance for helpers and engin engineers if you do this i currently don't really know if it's like better if you just do short recons or if you do full expeditions or maybe full expeditions give you better chance of like platinum helper or like give you gold helpers or something like that i don't know the specifics of that if you have a lot of materials but you don't have enough engineers you just go here that's pretty cool i like this a lot this unlocks at level 88 so this is the big thing right gold cpu it's not really a new battle item more like it's kind of a repurposed cat cpu essentially what gold cpu is is essentially if you tap the cpu twice you will activate it uh gold cpu i believe gold cpu you can unlock after eoc1 hawaii so i'm sure like basically everyone here in chat already have access to gold cpu you don't need to ask like oh do i need to be into the future or something like that no you definitely have the access for gold cpu what gold cpu does is that it essentially auto clears stages so for example if i want to get green cat food but i'm like man i don't really want to play this stage i just wish i can just like get the reward instantly well you can do that you can use two cat cpus and a little skip the battle you only have 10 skips a day so you can only skip 10 levels a day and you also don't do continuation stages which means that stages like proving ground stages like growing strange stages like growing epic you wouldn't be able to get the reward that you can get on the continuation stages which makes sense because that you know if that's the case you can get like crazy moneko without doing in new york which is kind of absurd you instantly got the xp 
uh, that you get for beating the stage, and you also get the reward. You won't be able to use for like Rich Cat, Speed Up, and Sniper because obviously you're not actually gonna be in the battle, but you can use Treasure Raider and XP Up if you want the extra loot, basically. I haven't had this happen to me before, but I believe Cax and some other people have said that you can also get Enigma stages. There are specific levels that you cannot beat using Gold CPU. Uh, for example, Dojo. Growing Evil? For some fucking reason? So you can use this for like XP Bonanza. Okay, so I have XP Bonanza here. I can use Gold CPU here. I can put Treasure Radar. I can put XP up. And then there we go. Skip. I have 1, uh, 1 million XP and 3 million XP. That's pretty good. That being said, if you're doing this for XP stages, remember that since you're not actually playing the stage you do not get the extra xp that you get if you equip cat jobs i don't i really don't understand why they don't allow growing evil of all things but you can do it on xp bonanza that is so weird so if i do dojo here and i try to put like gold cpu uh oh no skipping battles for this stage meows the time to fight with their own strength when have the game's pop-up used languages like this before what the fuck is this translation who 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 suddenly decided? Uh uh, let's use uh, let's use cat language for this one specific in instance. Meow's the time to fight with your own strength, yeah. No skipping battles for this stage, yeah. Meow meow. Probably one of the biggest usage for cat CPU is not really for grinding. Rather, it is for getting advent units. If you're doing this stage, right? N1 Grand Prix. And you're like, holy shit, I finally beat the stage. You have a 30% chance to get Glass Cat and you don't actually get it. And you're like, fuck, I gotta replay the stage again. I gotta get like a good run again. But you don't need to do that anymore because now you can just tap Gold CPU in and you tap Treasure Radar in and you immediately get Glass Cat. A very, very helpful uh, quality of life. This is such an amazing quality of life thing. If you tell people in 2022 that you can farm CPU, you <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy and it's so fucking funny uh all right i also forgot to say that you have to beat the stage before you do gold cpu i i totally forgot to preface that you can't use gold cpu on stages you haven't cleared i i should have said this uh, at the very start and it also doesn't work on stages that reset the rule of thumb in which stage can you actually clear with gold cpu or not if you see a clear number then you can use gold cpu on it if you don't see a clear number then you can't use gold CPU on it. That's all for the miscellaneous, uh, unless you want to talk about how you get fucking 3 gold Z, 3 sprocket Z, and 3 gold Z with fucking 20,000 user rank. Holy shit, let's go. Uh, cat combo, we'll talk about it later, because cat combo is partially related with Cyclops. We'll get into that. There's Summer Kana, there's a new Iron Legion. Summer Kana kind of works similarly as normal Kana, as you'd expect. Also, here's some really weird thing about Kana, right? I think this is not the case for JP, I think this is specifically for EN, data miners have found that there is a name and description for true form Kana. What the fuck? This is similar to normal Kana. It's a 3-hit multi-hit. Massive damage against two traits, which is floating an alien. The first hit will surge. It's a multi-hit on like very weird position, also similar to normal Kana. First one at 300 to 800, second one to 250 and 750, and the third one is 500,000. I don't really know how good she is, but surge attack is just nice. The surge is only at the first hit, so the DPS doesn't like double or anything like that, but it is like massive damage against two traits, which is pretty nice, plus multi-hit plus the ld going up to like a thousand but like i imagine it's really good against like floating an alien at the very least i think ld in general is always just respectable especially with surge i think it's always respectable I i'm just gonna move on <laughs> that's, that's about it uh, if you know kana you kind of know surfer kana this is mighty sphinx corpse and attack battalion convoys i do really like this i like this design a lot i think this is really cute uh, it goes from like just like transferring like pyramid blocks to basically map max i i really like this a lot. This is Mighty Sphinx Corpse and Attack Battalion Convoys. 142,800 HP. That's a pretty strong ass base HP. Divine Tide is, I'm pretty sure, higher than this. Attack Battalion Convoy have resist against three types, where Kai only resists one. He resists metal, zombies, and red. I don't know why it resists metal when it doesn't even crit, but sure, whatever. 
it also have a 50% chance to weaken those traits, which means that it also have a chance to basically kind of like double its durability. Granted, it only works for anything that it actually hits. Uh, its range is 150, but it has only strike 250. The DPS is very, very low, especially for a uh, melee unit. Generally, you want the Omni Strike to basically hit enemies to weaken them so that you have a uh, longer time to stand on the battlefield. Especially considering that this is still an Iron Legion, and Iron Legion have a long recharge time. It doesn't have knockback immunity, which I think kinda makes sense in a way. I usually don't like tankers that doesn't have knockback immunity. However, this guy is also partially a rusher, because his movement speed is really fast. It has 45 movement speed. I think it actually kinda benefits getting knockback. The one that I'm not entirely sure is good or not is the soul strike. Like, I yeah, I guess it helps killing zombie, but I feel like that'll also help you from, like, actually tanking in front. But yeah, I, I do kind of wish that this guy doesn't have soul strike. Little Eraser 2.0. Yeah, I don't really know what to think about this guy. I think this guy is not bad, especially considering that it's, like, tree typing. I don't really know. I do like the speed, and I, I really like weekend in general, but I don't know how much this guy would actually be worth. That's for the two new Ubers, we got the two new eggs and also Maze and Cone Cat. You know what's really funny about this? It's the fact that they chose the name Maze Cat. Wikipedia editors cannot decide what to call this thing. Here's a small sample impression subsection of the talk page in the Maze articles. The total debate is as long as the books in the following story of Brave New World. Why isn't this called corn? With great sadness in my heart, corn. Popularly known as corn. Maze versus corn controversy. Why maze instead of corn? Calling BS on maze. So yeah, if you look up Wikipedia for corn, it would be maze. So if you click corn, it just goes to maze. So there is no corn. There's only maze, so I think it's really fucking funny that Ponos used the name Maze Cat and not Corn. And in the second form, it's not Corn, it's Cone. Yeah, this is a drop for Kappa stage for a new Advent stage. There's gonna be a new Brutal stage, uh, similar to the Standing Yandam that we just had. It's also going to be a 4 stage, we'll get into that later and all that stuff. And also the drop for it, if you remember Jetpack, this is Jetpack 2.0. Basically, yet another meat shield that is a 2 type resistant that also basically outclasses the uh, previous meat shield that we have. And it also have Colossus Slayer. So, if you know Jetpack, where Jetpack previously was against Black and Aliens, this one is against Relic and Naku. Uh, this was also immune to Freeze and Curse. Uh, I imagine Freeze is probably because Omens, and also Curse is, you know, for Relic, obviously. We don't have a Colossus Relic, so I kind of fear what this means. <laughs> Alright, I guess we do have Zero Luza, yeah, but I mean, we don't have like a proper Colossus Relic Doge Baron. I feel like if they're going to actually make a Relic Baron, they could use like Loris. Or they could use like Loki. Or they could use Sorel. <laughs> Baron Sorel that'll like instantly kill your rock cat. You could say that like technically you can still kind of use like cactus because cactus have a uh, surge immunity and maybe that'll give him the edge on certain situations where if some stage have like a lot of surges, which in that case you can use that instead of cone. But the question is how will this affect belly dancer because belly dancer might actually get replaced by cone if you have cone. That's about it for cone. It's a good unit, but there's really not that much to talk about. <laughs> it's a really good unit. You can kind of tell how good it is. It's already have like 18,000 HP at level 30, which is already really solid. And I guess we move on to the eggs, I guess. So these are the two new eggs that you get for uh, clearing new behemoth calling stage. This one you get for 50 behemoths, uh, and this one you get for 55 behemoth calling. It's a farm boy cat, sorry, not farmer cat. And it's kind of unironically outclassed by Sanzo. It definitely has its usages. It's 350 range, so it outranges Wing Piggy. It is safer for like Dober, but it is a single target angel slow. It also has like a 9 second recharge time. Meanwhile, Sanzo has like 4 seconds or something like that. Single target, I think, hurts quite a lot. It has Behemoth Slayer. It is wave immunity, so yes, you can use it for like Raja Kong, but also uh, literally just use Mushroom. Slowing Raja Kong might not really be what you want. I think there's a pretty good chance that by the time you unlock Farm Boy Cat, you already have Mushroom. And if you already have Mushroom, why do you need to slow Raja Kong? You can also use Courier, which would still kind of like brute force Raja Kong. Uh, so for the most part, it's not that 
great for it, and then you're certainly not gonna use it for an attacker either. It only has 600 DPS, that's not much at all, and it's single target, so you're purely going to use it for CC. It's going to have its usages, I'm sure, especially for like Wing Piggy. Sanzo can't do that, that's basically about it. You can use it for like four of him, sure, but you can also use Kamaturge, you can also use Sanzo, and it's very weird that they give like this subpar unit this far, when like we've been getting like non-stop really good units for Behemoth Cutting, uh, aside from like things like, you know, Exorcist and Clown Cat. Uh, the true form for Farm Boy is also kind of a lot. 2 Behemoth Cluster for red and 2 Behemoth Cluster for blue and 20 purple, so basically 20 of each. Or unless if you're in Hunter's Map 4, then you can get like red cluster and blue cluster. But even then, it's still like, you have way better units you can use these on. Uh, Farm Boy's chance of slow is 15%, which is relatively pretty consistent. The attack frequency is generally pretty low, attack animation is pretty alright. Uh, the slow is 4 seconds, so you can kind of like perma-slow with it. It's like 50% chance only, and it's single target. Uh, some of these doesn't really add up, but in certain situations, certainly you can still use it. Maybe if you have like a stage where you want to like slow certain angels, but there are maybe like pigeons or something like that, that that'll like kill your Sanzo, which in that case, I guess it's time for farm boys need to shine, you know? And now we move on to Copcat. This is a super rare egg. Copcat is another anti-tradeless, which we also had uh, previously on Hitman Cat, where you might consider like Hitman Cat is kind of like the Volter Cat. Copcat is like the Pizza Cat, where it is pretty tanky, it attacks relatively fast, it hits pretty, it hits relatively hard, and it is strong against rather than uh, massive damage. Seven chains. Paul Blart Mall Cop Safety Never Takes a Holiday. Hell yeah. Paul Blart Cat, or aka Police Cat, aka Cop Cat, whatever. Cop Cat is an anti trade list, basically kind of like a pizza cat. What the fuck is this ad? Get the fuck out of here. Why is this ad allowed? I have ad lock on. And it's been blocking like most ads except for that one. Uh, so yeah, this is Copcat. It has kind of like a somewhat similar stats with, uh, stats with Pizza Cat. Pizza Cat has 33k HP and almost 4,000 DPS. Uh, Copcat has 34k HP and also almost 4,000 DPS. The difference is that Pizza Cat have more range. Pizza Cat have 270 range and Pizza Cat also have the talent for wave attack. Uh, Pizza Cat also have four knockbacks. Meanwhile, Copcat has 250 range, which is less, and the knockback is 2 uh, instead of 4. That being said, Copcat is strong against. It is kind of more like a tankier unit, if that makes sense, where Pizza Cat is a bulky unit that have a lot of damage. Copcat actually have like the ability to kind of like tank traitless enemies, if that makes sense. And outside of traitless enemies, it's also kind of like somewhat usable for like a second pizza cat. Copcat also have like more movement speed, so if you want just like an uh, instant burst of damage, Copcat, you can kind of use that. The attack startup for Copcat, I think is pretty fast, yeah. It's only like 0.5 seconds long. Similar to Pizza Cat, Pizza Cat also is 0 0.6 seconds long. The recharge time is also pretty good. Pizza Cat is around 20 seconds. Copcat is around uh, 15 seconds, 14 seconds. It's also a Behemoth Slayer, which means that you can actually use it to like kill Wild Doge. Does it one-shot Wild Doge? I don't think it one-shots Wild Doge. I'm not entirely sure, actually. So it's 2.5 and then times 1.5. It deals 72k damage. 100% Wild Doge has 55,000 health. A 200% Wild Doge has 110,000. So even a level 50 cop cap does not one-shot Wild Doge, because fuck you. I think like Wufa and Taxer try cop cap for the Cappy Senior stage, which we'll get into, with like a pretty deep Decent result. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, the bulkiness of Copcat itself does prove useful to still hit enemies that he doesn't outrange. I'm pretty sure for even things like Aros and stuff like that, like tradeless stages that uh, tradeless enemies that kind of hits hard, you he can kind of just like tank hits and do a at least like a shot. And that's pretty good, that's pretty nice. I don't think it's like one of the top, top, super crazy good behemoth stuff. I think it's still pretty good. It's definitely solid. It definitely will have its usages. I'm sure you can thank Papa because it has Behemoth Slayer, right? I think that's about it. That's really, there's really not that much to say about Copcat. I think it's a pretty straightforward unit. It's a strong versus, it have a little bit of range, and it's good against Shadeless. That's about it. Well, uh, this is a very straightforward, and you're probably not really going to care. 
This is Chibi Gal. This is a unit from Princess Bun Collab. Princess Bun Collab is currently a JP only uh, collab, which also kind of makes sense because uh, Princess Bun is currently a JP only game as well, which I think is kind of a kind of a shame. I actually have tried Princess Bun before. I actually thought it was kind of kind of fun. It's basically like Angry Birds, except that like when your when your unit lands, it'll start attacking enemy on its own. It's kind of cool. I actually kind of like playing Princess Bun, and also it, it has 3D models of Battle Cats unit. Previously. If you know Nono, Nono and Chibigao have been basically like neck to neck as to basically one of the best uh, anti-black Nichil. But with this true form, this is now undeniably most likely pretty much the best anti-black true form. If you know Nono, this is uh, Nono is basically similar to Chibigao. It's two seconds, uh, two point two seconds cooldown, it's resistance to black. But now the health is significantly higher at seventeen thousand. Which, by the way, is like similar to like Manic Eraser. If you level 50 Crystal Chibigao, Crystal Chibigao has 27,000 health. It's 2.2 seconds cooldown. It's not like Ramen where it's like 4 seconds cooldown. No, it's 2 seconds cooldown. Manic Eraser at level 50 has 25,000 health. It's 300 cost. It's kind of similar to like Rice Ball. But it's like resist black and immune to knockback. Next up is Cyclops True Form, Demonite Cyclops. This looks kind of fucking badass, I will say. It, this guy looks like a fucking Dark Souls character. I mean, he kind of already is. This is a dark hero, so naturally it changes basically everything. First form is Freeze and Pierce Shield against Alien and Aku. Uh, second form is Strong against Alien and Aku. Third form is a massive damage against Aku, but not Alien. Uh, as usual, so similar to a lot of dark heroes, the stats doesn't actually change, um, which is kind of a shame because Kyclops kind of have a doo-doo stats. <laughs> Kyclops stats isn't really the best, but my massive damage against shield is pretty good, right? And also on the first hit, it has a 50% chance to pierce the shield. So you can kind of like pierce the shield on the first shot and then do an extra damage on the second shot and it's also immune to freeze for some reason. It's a bit weird. Kyclops have like okay range, but Kyclops have really low health. And without surge immunity and with the rage not being that big, he's going to get hit by surge quite often. And also just especially from the fact that it's a multi-hit, right? Uh, if your first hit pierces the enemy and then you knock them back, you're not gonna hit them on the second hit. I usually don't really mind these on like certain units. On units like Twin Stars, it makes sense because Twin Stars' job is to basically disrupt the flow of Peon. I don't mind this on units like Jizo because Jizo's first and second hit is pretty far from the third hit. So by the time the third hit launches, usually the enemy is already back on the position. But it's not really the case for Kyclops. You see here the attack animation, the first hit is on 1.5 second, the second hit is on 1.9 second. So you only have like half a second between the first and second hit. So chances are if you knock someone back on the first hit, you're not gonna get hit. You're not gonna hit anyone on the second hit. I think it's alright. I'm sure you can still use this for like a lot of pure Aku stages, but currently I think Cyclops badly needs talents. The true form for Cyclops also have a one slot return uh, one slot massive damage combo. It basically increases your damage against Akus, I guess. That's about it. <laughs> it basically only does that for himself. That's essentially it. It's a one slot. It's an extra. It's nice, I guess. That's about it. That's that's basically about it. And here we go. Talent for Master of Pacific. This is what you've been waiting for. This is Mola King. Three new talents. Attack buff, mini surge, and dodge attack. Attack buff is basically your, your, your basic attack buff. It doesn't have defense buff because... Are you fucking kidding me? 170 HP? Well, you wanna you wanna spend like 100 NP to upgrade 170 HP to like 200 HP? Be my guess. I should probably preface this first. If you're not familiar with Mola King and Master of the Pacific, it is a uh, collab unit from the Mola Mola. The kind of like gimmick for Master of Pacific is that it have a relatively low cooldown. It have a pretty good attack range but it have like no health at all. It has like okay-ish damage for someone that have this amount of range, but it is also relatively short cooldown to make up for it. But yeah, it's not that great, but it is kind of funny in a gimmicky way. The talent is that not only it adds mini surge so that it allows you for uh, better damage, it also gives you a dodge attack where at max, it gives you 80% chance to dodge enemies, which basically leads to shit like this. 
That's crazy! You basically just get an invincible Super Saiyan Mola. Because 80% chance is pretty fucking high. It's such a funny ass unit. The best tank. Yeah, the best tank in the game with 170 HP. Isn't that so good? And not only that, it also has a mini search, a level 5 mini search, which basically also helps with its uh damage remember this guy has 550 attack range that's pretty respectable so if all of this level 5 mini search lands it basically will give you an entire 27,000 damage again uh which basically effectively doubles its dps but only if it actually lands you know because uh it does land on a relatively random place 500 to 1000 so yeah it is uh, it is guaranteed at max though so that's really good and aside from that uh, this is going to be relevant with copper mine as well so i'm just going to preface this now mini search a somewhat recent discovery not really discovery but I guess kind of like a uh, realization is that mini surge has a really really good interaction with attack orb of all things it's gonna be a mini lesson on attack orbs the way attack orb works is that it will add a flat damage calculation to the unit itself so what happens if you put this on mini search if you put this on mini search every single one of that mini search will get that flat attack boost which is straight up kind of unfair so as you can see here jones made a jones made a calculation here and with the s-rank attack orb it goes from 5,000 to 13,000. granted this is only to like one trait and this is only if the mini search lands but this is still like a lot remember mini search is supposed to only give 20 percent but it now gives like a lot more thanks to attack orbs it's so funny wouldn't the same thing happen with normal search see the thing is with normal search the units are balanced around having the search if you have like for example like dasty dasty uh have like level three level four search i think right but the base damage for dasty is actually a relatively low does he only have like 2000 dps or something like that it's the search that kind of like carries it they try to balance it depending on the base damage and the surge itself but with mini surge it with how mola king is balanced it is like very unbalanced to add at this kind of total boost five times it is really not balanced i i also had like a little bit of my own uh researching basically i did my own testing right here hold on so i did uh testing on little king dragon's wave and basically little king dragon's wave also gets affected by this little king dragon's mini wave is slightly boosted more with the usage of attack can this work with him yuri also yes it's this also works with him yuri so this is master of pacific not not only that this is funny but the interaction with attack or also basically kind of gives him like a certain strong against or massive damage against a certain trait which i this is another one that is uh also affected with the mini surge uh fiasco copper mine have an ultra talent one of them being a mini surge a level 3 mini surge that is guaranteed at max so as you know she's also gonna get benefits from attack orbs she also have two attack orb slots so you can put two attack orb slots on her and she will deal even extra extra damage it's pretty good it is level three it's not level five like uh master of pacific but level three is still pretty good she also has target zombie for some reason i don't really understand this she doesn't have zombie killer but sure and she has attack frequency up which is the same as ku but you know what's really fucking funny about her talent it's not the mini search it's not the fact that she can get a really high amount of damage from the mini surge and attack orbs it's not from the fact that the attack frequency or plus, plus the mini search can get an extremely high potential of damage it is the fact that the attack frequency up above level 5 is legitimately useless ponos did a little oopsie where the attack frequency up at max is 10 which you know that's like how it is for everybody else but ponos didn't think about something ponos forgot about backswing so this is her level 60 stats uh she has 10,000 dps she has a naturally high dps already at like level 30 she already have like 5,000 dps that's pretty respectable at level uh 60 she has 10,000 dps that's pretty good right as you can see here uh if my if i put the attack frequency at zero the dba is currently at 90 frames right if i put one it becomes 84 frames and the dps change right and the dps goes up right because you go you attack faster right if i put four the tba goes down the dps goes up if i put five currently you know tba at 66 frames and the dps is at 11,450. so if i level this to six 
The TPA goes down from 66 to 62%, but the DPS stays the same. And you know why? It's because Ponos forgot to account backswing. This TPA is as short as can be. <laughs> Basically, once she reaches level 5, after she finishes her attack, she will immediately attack again already. She doesn't need anything above level 5. The only time it'll make any difference whatsoever is that if she gets knocked back in the middle of her backswing, which in that case, she can immediately attack again but what are the fucking chances photos what the fuck so you know if you do want to use copper mine for like her mini search glory and all that stuff because she actually does have like pretty respectable dps with all the extra mini search and all that stuff it's pretty good uh level 3 mini search plus the uh plus two attack orbs i think someone can theorize earlier where uh it can go like nearly twenty thousand dps or something like that if it lands it, it can go like pretty fucking high with the mini surge and all that stuff her cooldown is pretty short her attack is like rest Respectable and all that stuff, but remember to not give her more than level 5 of attack frequency because it is literally useless. The problem I think that I have with Copper Mine is that Copper Mine have really long attack startup. It's a 100 frame attack startup. It's pretty fucking long, and her range isn't that high either. It's 410 range. She doesn't exactly have the safest uh, standing range, and she doesn't exactly have the safest attack animation. So you do kind of end up with this uh, kind of like high risk-ish unit. It's not really the best. In general, this is probably one of the better ultra talent, but I think there are a lot more others, but yeah. Speaking of ultra talents, Shingen. If you don't know what Shingen does, Shingen is a beefy ass unit. 134k HP, 16,000 DPS, but previously it attacks only Black and Alien, and now it can also target Angel, and with Ultra Talent, it also targets Red, Zombie, and Aku. It is a very, very straightforward Ultra Talent, I think, and I think it, like, it functions basically as expected. Target Red, target Zombie, target Aku, it's a one-time purchase of 150 NP, which arguably is one of the cheaper Ultra Talent that you can get. A lot of other Ultra Talent to max out, you need like 200 NP or something like that. The problem is, I don't really know about these uh, targeting, because like, frankly, Angel and Aliens are already really good targeting. Red is okay, I guess there are still certain Red enemies that Courier just doesn't outright like demolish, I guess, but still. Zombie, you can use him to damage zombies a lot, sure, I guess, but he doesn't have zombie killer. Granted, he still does like a pretty big damage, so it's, it's still like respectable. Target Aku, I think is also pretty respectable, uh, but you know, you probably still have to be a little bit wary of shield. Uh, he doesn't have like surge immunity or anything like that. Granted, he's also really fucking tanky, so he can definitely tank surges. No shield breaker kinda hurts a little bit, but I think for the most part, it's still fine, and I think it's one of the more valid ones, in my opinion. So, Ultra Talent, I think, is okay. You can, you can definitely find many usages for uh, these three and it is relatively cheap to get the talent. So yeah, overall, no complaint here. I think it's a valid ultra talent. Moving on, new enemies and the new behemoth stages. I actually don't usually talk about the behemoth stages. For the most part, I generally don't really fucking care. But I recently played the new Forest of Copra stage. So I will say it's not bad at all. This is the stage that you need to beat to unlock level 17 to level 19 Gopra. Gopra so far, for the most part, is kind of just like spam courier i actually had trouble playing this stage i actually played this stage with like a relatively stacked team i had to pull out the i kind of have to pull out the big guns for this and when i played primeval uh, with area 17 and i'm like there's fucking wing peaky on gabra and it's like it's actually another threatening stage i actually think like they did like a pretty damn good job on these stages and also uh, since we're here we also want to talk about the new enemy the sharp tooth dead fish low fee forms angaburu who the fuck made this name i swear as usual it's a behemoth so it is a reference to a monster hunter enemy it is gobul it's a uh, it's an angaburu fish all right it's a spiky anglerfish this is a uh zombie henry however it 
kind of functions nothing like Zombie Henry. The vibe that I get from this guy is not like a Henry. The vibe that I get from this guy is like Gobbles. It has a relatively okay HP. It's a 420k HP with like a relatively low damage. It's only like 13,000 damage. It's not the most damaging thing around. I don't think it has LD, right? It doesn't have LD, right? Yeah, it doesn't have LD. But it has a chance to do Mini Search. Mini Search between 280 and 980 range. It is a pretty big margin. It can land pretty far. Mini Search is only 20% of the damage. So going from 13,000 is only dealing like pff, fucking 2,000 damage or something like that at uh, 100%. However, like I said, it is more similar to like Gobbles than it is like a Henry. So in a stage like, for example, uh, Sharp to a Deathfish, he's, they, he spawns like twice, I think. Yeah, he spawns like twice. Uh, he spawns one in 33 seconds and he spawns another at 120 seconds. So you do are kind of expected to kill it relatively easily, but also not really. It's like, again, okay, it's like Gobbles. If you let it live for too long, another one might spawn. And if you are fighting multiple at once, it could be trouble. Kind of like the support. When the first time I saw his stats, when 12.5 just came out, I just look at his stats and I'm like, why does this guy deal like no damage? <laughs> and I, I just thought like, I guess it's a stupid unit. I guess it's a unit that just won't do anything. But then when I played the stage for Gapra, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. He does like, he's annoying enough to have like a decent presence in the stage, but he's not annoying enough to a point where I'm like, fuck this guy. I think it's a pretty good enemy. Oh, and yeah, because it's a zombie, it also revives. It is also floating, which means that you can use like Fishman on it and all that stuff. But yeah, anyways, that is the new Behemoth and probably the final one no, the final one for the quiz, I guess. Uh, the final one is Happy Kawano, also known as Cappy Senior. Look at this man. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Oh my god. How'd you get that body? Jesus Christ. This man is basically Hiachi Mishima. Uh, you see, you see his hair. Yeah. Cappy Kawano is kind of like Cappy Jr. It is a surge enemy. He deals like a uh, random surge, but he has like a significantly higher range you can't really use like a rock to bait out his attack that much anymore because most of the time a lot of the units you're bringing is going to be in his attack range anyway unlike cappy where cappy constantly attacks cappy kawano have seven seconds uh, tba which means that after attacking he's going to move as much as possible so you can't just like bait rock instantly or anything like that he'll try to find something to hit and also for some reason he kind of have like a multi-hit you can kind of see his attack animation earlier he's just bashing normally he does doesn't like bash the thing three times or anything like that. It's just that that one bash is actually three hits at once, which means that if you use like rock or anything that is tanky or maybe some uh, fast unit accidentally enters Cappy Kawano's attack range in between these these multi hits, he will use multiple surge attacks at once. So yeah, that's that's not great. He also has surge reflect, so you can't use Jagando on him. Basically, there is a pattern for these brutal advents, right? One being that both of these brutal advanced enemies are somehow kind of hot. The second one that is kind of weird and it's probably a coincidence but I think it's also kind of funny to be a coincidence is that okay so you see here right the enemies you know there's Doge's Haniwa, Little Doge, Sorel, the boss Amos and Toucan. This one have you know the Angel, Sorel, there's another Cappy here as well and there's Golem Sunfish but then there's also Angelic Gory here and there's also Black Gory here and you might I think, oh, that's just normal. Like, people use Gory variant all the time. Why would this be a pattern? Well, you see, you remember when does this Raging Gory spawn? This Raging Gory spawns only at the start of the stage. This is a base hit stage. There's one Raging Gory that spawns only at the start. And in Ghost King, you see here, this Angelic Gory only spawns at the start as well. What is going on here? In this case, I think there could be a chance that this is coincidence but i think it would be really fucking funny if the next advent have like one zori spawns and timer <laughs> I'm not gonna get too deep into the, into the Cappy Senior, but you can already see the stage schematics here, basically. It has Cappy Senior, it has Cappy Junior as well. Both will spawn after the base is hit. Uh, there's Golden Sunfish, and yeah. The name Ghost King is a little bit weird. It's, it's because Cappy is supposed to be a yokai. Yokai is kind of like a ghost, but I think it's also kind of like a mythical creature, I guess you can say. And Cappy is a yokai, so yeah, you can see here, domesticated grand yokai living in the marshes. A mighty strong empowered by a better melon diet 
makes him fearsome enemy outside the home, but inside his wife keeps him checked. But yeah, I think it's because they tried to translate yokai and it just becomes ghost, which I guess makes sense, but it feels really weird. The last thing that they want to talk about for 12.5 is something that is not actually new for the 12.5 update for JP, and this is the quiz. It is kind of funny. I'm not gonna explain this, but basically, there are some special missions that appears during the anniversary, and some of these missions are basically like kind of cryptic, I guess you can say. These missions include things like, for example, mission what country is famous for sushi? So, what you do is that you go to Empire of Cats and you beat the stage that you think is the answer. <laughs> Isn't that kinda cool? <laughs> so like, obviously, what country is famous for sushi? Like, obviously, Japan. The mission is only unlocked after you beat Japan in EOC 1. That's so fucking funny! Obviously, you can cheat and just like, do every fucking stage or like, look up the answer or whatever, sure. Well, I don't fucking care how you do it. I just think it's really cute. <laughs> it could be a last that is true, it could be Alaska. There's also one where it's like, defeat the enemy. Which enemy is trying to get into college each year in Empire Stage? So you gotta beat a certain enemy that is described in the uh, enemy dictionary. Also, aside from that, you also have Million Dollar Cat. Here it is. This is Million Dollar Cat and a Hundred Million Dollar Cat. It is essentially like Summer Neneko. It is like instant range crit. It's pretty good. Go get it. It's nice. You can use it for like speeding, facing danger, and all that stuff. It's a good unit but yeah there's really not that much else that i want to talk about i think i do want to show current zero legend name it's called new world ahead i don't know what what, what the fuck that is but the names are kind of funny this one is called interesting inlet banishing tigers the heck are you island can can canal what the waterway oh no road so so city center and a whole lot of something these are like pretty funny names but unfortunately people say the stages are not good so yeah, that's 12.45, that's cool. Uh, Panos, please don't sue me, don't take down my video, thank you very much. <laughs>